Um, the feeling to, to play Euroleague uh, this season is for, for Alba very exciting. Um, the last two years we tried uh, to, to qualify for the Euroleague always, but we never made it. And for sure the competition of the Euroleague is one of the, the best competitions in, after the NBA. And um, for me also as a player, uh, my last time was when I played in uh, Milano. Um, it's the best um, time to play basketball in the Euroleague. And, um, I hope we will have uh, some success for sure and, and, uh, and can make some, some good games and, and uh, enjoy playing in the EuroLeague this year. For me as a captain, um, I can give them some tips, but uh, most of the guys also played on a high level. Some guys played already in the Euroleague and um, I think everybody knows by only by watching the games in the Euroleague on Euroleague TV also um, what what will they expect them. Um, Germany was uh, uh, with Bamberg uh, present in the last three years in the Euroleague, so um, they talk for sure also to other players. But uh, for me as a player, um, I don't know. I can I can maybe give them just a little bit advance, but uh, everybody th I think is very ready to to play in the Euroleague and uh, and basketball is actually in this way pretty simple. Uh, my impression of the new players is so far uh, very good. We have uh, s uh, good team chemistry. Um, some guys just arrived a couple of days ago. Um, you can't really tell, uh, of course, the first impression is always nice because everybody has a, a good character. We will see during the season how everything is. If we are successful, of course, it's uh, even better. Um, there will be probably also some times where we will lose some games, but then we see how, how uh, um, everything will, will fit together. And um, But uh, on the positions we we got the players on, this is very important for Alba and I think we will have, and I hope that we will have a, a very successful season. Um, Sasha Obaric is uh, um, known in, in Europe as a player for sure and also in the last years uh, as a coach. Um, he's a typical uh, um, Serbian, Yugoslavian uh, type of uh, coach, very um, has strict rules, um, his practices are, are very hard, um, he wants the discipline, is very defensive orientated um, and and uh, yes, in offense, um, he of course has a structure but also uses um, the individual players a lot. So um, for Alba, I think it's a, a very good uh, choice that we have him as a coach and um, to bring us back on the on the successful years we had before. There are all teams um, in uh, who are uh, deserve to be in the Euroleague. It's not easy um, to advance. We have to come in fourth, and I think it's a possible uh, mission for us to to do this to go to the top 16s. Every team will fight for 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 their lives. So will we and. Um, it's uh, some teams like Siena or Malaga have been in the Euroleague for, for many years, also Sopot and uh, the, the French team. But um, um, I think it's a very uh, even group compared to the other groups when you look at them. But um, all the teams in the Euroleague uh, deserve to be there and um, are very good teams. So it's not going to be easy for, for any team. O2 Arena is uh, one of, of the most, um, uh, one of the biggest arenas for sure in, in Europe. Um, the fans are love to come here because it's a, a special event for the whole city. Now with us playing Euroleague again, we hope that even more people will come. Um, over the years, there are also some more fan clubs building up. So, um, so you can see that uh, the basketball is uh, becoming more and more popular. And... Um, if we are successful, even it might be even better. Okay, that's it. Good. 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 Good.